Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Texas State Theory Test, level 5. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over questions 5 and 6, so let's get started. Question 5 states, name the intervals on the line below each measure, example 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, etc, etc. It'll go all the way up to an octave sometimes. I don't think in this one, just by glancing at it, you have an octave, but that's how height can go. It's not going to go any higher than an octave, or any smaller than a second. Yes, there is an interval smaller than a second, it's called a unison, but you don't need to know that for this test. Okay, um... So, let's just start with the first one. Remember, to do intervals, we have to count the lines and spaces between the notes and the notes themselves. So, let's start here. We have one, two, three, four. All right, that is a fourth. For this one, one, two, three, four, five. Not very hard. Okay. All right, for this one, line, space, line, space, Line, space, line. That is a seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. This one you should know just at a glance, but I'll count it anyway. Line, space, line. That's a third. Uh, for this one, we have line, space, line, space, line, space. That is a sixth. And for this one, if you don't know it at a glance, then I don't know why you're taking the fifth grade test. Sorry, I mean, you should, you should just know that that is a second. There's only one line in space between those two. That's really simple. That's a second. All right, that's all of question five. Let's keep moving on to question six. All right, question six, musical math. This was kind of like the last question before the year training in uh, the fourth grade test. Um, question six says, draw one note, not a number, that receives the total number of beats for each group of notes and rests. Oh my goodness. So, we have to know how many beats each one of these notes and rests get. So, let's see here. I'm just going to quickly uh, draw this out. So, the one that gets four beats is your whole note or your whole rest, okay? The one that gets three beats is your dotted half note or your dotted half rest, which you will never see or use, but it does exist. Um, for the one that gets two beats, for the one that gets two beats, you have a half note, or the half rest. For the one that gets one beat, you have the quarter note, or the quarter rest. For the one that gets a uh, half a beat, so half a quarter note, that's an eighth note, or the eighth rest. For the one that gets a fourth of a beat, that's the sixteenth note, or sixteenth rest. Okay, so those are your uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different types of notes and rests. So, let's go on to the first one. Here we have a sixteenth note, plus an eighth note, plus a sixteenth rest. So I have a fourth, plus a half, plus a fourth. If you want to look at this like a, like a piece of pie, um, all right, so I have one fourth of the pie for the sixteenth note. I have another fourth of the pie for the sixteenth rest, and then I have half the pie for the eighth note. So that gets one whole pie or one whole beat. So the quarter note gets one beat. Next, all right, I have half a beat plus half a beat plus two beats. These two together get one whole beat. So one plus two equals three, so three beats. What note gets three beats? The dotted half note. Okay, next one. I have a dotted, a dotted eighth note, which would be an eighth note plus a sixteenth note. So think of this as this. All right. So, the 8th note by itself is half, the 16th note is a 4th, this other 16th note right here is a 4th, so a 4th plus a 4th plus a half is one whole beat. Alright. Uh, make sure that when you draw your notes, they're actually neater than mine. Okay, here we have kind of a big one. I have half a beat, plus a 4th of a beat, or half a half, and another 4th of a beat, and one beat. So all this together gets one beat, 
that gets one beat, so it's two beats total, so just need a half note. Alright, that's everything I have for this video. Uh, keep practicing, keep studying, and I will see you in the next one.